Hi guys, it's Brianna here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a reborn magnetized pacifier. So I, I have um, some different types of pacifiers here. I have a Dr. Brown's pacifier. I have a Dollar Store brand pacifier. And I have a Nook. Ah! <laughs> I have a Nook pacifier. So I'm going to show you how to magnetize two different types of pacifiers. I'm going to be doing the um, Nux and I'm going to do the Dr. Brown's but they're all pretty much the same it just depends kind of on the shape and size of the pacifier. Hi guys I'm here too. Hi! You're going to need however many magnets um, one magnet per pacifier so I have two magnets right here and I got these from Home Depot they're called super magnets you can probably get them at Home Depot, um, Lowe's, or any other hardware store. I have my hot glue gun heating up over here. Um, and then I'm going to need a razor blade and some scissors, sharp scissors. A razor blade definitely helps, but sharp scissors will work, will work also. And I strongly recommend parental supervision for this because you are using dangerous tools. So if you are younger than 18, don't do this right now. And my mom is right here watching. So. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay, so here are your supplies. I'm gonna be doing this Nook pacifier and this Dr. Brown pacifier. So I'm gonna set these to the side. And here is what they look like. They're really, really tiny, so you wanna be careful and not misplace them because they can potentially be dangerous for any type of animal huh? or see how strong they are or um, obviously <laughs> a real baby so it's actually really hard to get them apart since they're so strong but once they're apart you're gonna want to separate them so they don't snap together like they just did first thing you want to do is you're gonna want to take off the little squishy thing on each of the pacifiers because you're not going to need this for a reborn. So what I do first is I cut it off as close as I can. That's about as close as I can with actual scissors. Um, and then, very carefully, I'm going to get a razor blade and I'm going to cut closer. I'm going to go around the edges of the pacifier with the razor blade and cut it all off. All right, so as you can see, I cut almost all of it off. It's good enough for what we're doing right now. Um, so next we're gonna do is I have a hot glue gun right here. And side. yeah, you have to know which side um, you want the magnet to go for so it'll stick to the reborn. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna test it on your reborn baby's face to see which part sticks. And let's say, you stick it on your doll and pretend this is your doll's face and you stick it there, you're gonna wanna flip it over so the other side is facing up, like that. And this is really hot, so please be careful. And I know that it's gonna stick to her chin because that's just how my baby was made. Some of yours um, might be on the mouth, so you're gonna wanna put it directly where the plastic thing was. Just like that. And we're gonna try it on the baby a little bit later, but for now, you're gonna wanna let it dry for at least 30 minutes. Now we're gonna try a Dr. Brown's. They're a little bit differently shaped and um, they're a little bit different size. So I'm gonna do the same thing.
So now you're going to put it where her chin would be, a little bit lower than the mouthpiece. Alright guys, here's Miss Isla wearing her Dr. Brown's fishy pacifier. It fits her absolutely perfect. And I'm going to show you, here's the knock one that we made. Also fits her really nicely. So I hope you guys have lots of fun making your own pacifiers. And I hope you found this video helpful so you guys can make them at home. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.